there's something there's something very important that you all need to see. Miracle's back and she's licking her butt. So that's 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 what she thinks about back on the show. For the entire internet, she she has to lick her butt. I'm just gonna sit here and lick my butt at the whole internet. Hi. <clears throat> Baby, say hi. Say hi. Hi. Is this over yet? <laughs> Baby. You wanna go back to licking your butt? Yes, I do. This is bullshit. She'd prefer licking your butt than spending time with us. She's old. A little grumpy. And she just got woken up like 10 minutes ago. So, you know, she's a little mad about that. You heard it here first. Old people prefer to lick their butts. Well, old cats anyway. <clears throat> she has this new, new trick she's learned. Where in the morning, she, uh, She'll sit at the door to our bedroom and howl until Dan gets up to go retrieve her and then he'll bring her to the bed and then she sort of fusses around and jumps off the bed, waits a few minutes, sits at the door and howls until Dan goes to get her, rinse and repeat, and she does this until Dan decides, well, I'm not getting back to sleep, I might as well just get up. And then she hops in bed and curls up with me. She has basically figured out how to force Dan out of bed so she can have me all to herself. And then she's like, good, get the fuck out of here. Your cat's an asshole. She's very manipulative. <laughs> like she can pull that little coughing sit thing on, on command. You, you do something that displeases her, all of a sudden... <laughs> Oh, I'm dying. Well, she's learned that everybody freaks out when she starts doing it and gets all concerned and whatnot. So she, yeah. she's trained the humans. Yeah, she has. Like, I've learned, like, if I'm in bed in the morning, she just comes and meows and I'll come pick her up. Or, like, if I'm in there getting ready for work, doing my makeup, she doesn't bother to jump up on the bed or go into her window seat. She just meows at me and I'll go, oh, okay, hang on. And lift her where she wants to go. She has me trained. Dan, she's still working on. Me, I'm her bitch. I think that's why she likes me. Because I pretty much do whatever she wants. <sighs> well, we has the nonsense as usual. Are we ready for, for this? Let's do it. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. God damn computer tonight. I'm still bopping to Missy Elliott over here. Uh, I know it like blew your ears out. It didn't blow my ears out. It's an un. It's you don't. Sixty hertz is not. It, that's electronic noise. That's it's interference noise. I've I've watched that video like sixty times and I've never noticed that. Never noticed that. God damn. I guess it's because I. But her producer needs to be smacked. But I'm not rocking like the professional level sound equipment you are, so that might be part of it. That's not how you produce a song. Anyway. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this week, put another one in the goddamn it advertising category. You, you would think, at this point, they would have very smart people to catch certain things that keep popping up in, in well-publicized articles. But, you know, that I think it kind of lost us at the phrase, you would think, because they Oh, did. I think I know where we're going. Yeah. Bloomingdale's. Yeah. Bloomingdale's apologizes for ads seen as encouraging date rape. Seen as? Yeah, they're being very, they're, they're being, fortunes being very, uh, they, they, they were seen as uh, 
They're being very wiggle, giving themselves wiggle room at this. Yeah, all those oversensitive bitches who don't want to get roofied. Tis the season to be more careful with your holiday ads. Balestro, uh, Bloomingdale's, the luxury department store owned by Macy's, has apologized for a recent catalog ad that many in social media saw as encouraging date rape. Let's have a look at the ad, shall we? Here it is. The, the ad says, if, if you can't read it, it says, spike your best friend's eggnog when they're not looking. As, as Mike points out, it doesn't help that that dude looks suspiciously like Robin Thicke. He does! That's, yeah, it's, it's subliminal shit going on there. How did this get through? Like, I've, I, I've worked. I used to work for Ethan Allen in their advertising department. And I'm here to tell you, ads at this level go through several levels of approvals like several executive levels have to be have to and at least with ethan allen no new ad campaign got approved without the ceo personally signing off on it i don't i don't know if that's true of a chain like bloomingdale's because they're bigger but these go through several rounds of changes and approvals and copy edits and all this and through all of that somehow Nobody was like, you know, this this might be fucked up. Yeah, how many people? At least, easily at least a dozen people. This went to the hands of a dozen yeah. allegedly adult human beings. Went through their hands, they all looked at this and said, this is fine, what's the problem? I don't see an issue here. No, it's fine. How could anybody possibly you know, have a problem with this. Spike your best friend's eggnog when they're not looking. Now, they do use... I can kind of see... I'm not justifying this. I'm not defending it. But I can see where there might have been a disconnect between the copywriter and the ad designer because it does say there, not she. So it's possible... The copywriter intended the line to be on, like, a bunch of frat bros in expensive sweaters, and the designer did something different, and it just wound up being awful and rapey. You know, even it's with... It's still a terrible line. Even without the... Can do that to people. Yeah, even without the rapey thing. Don't don't give people drugs if right. they don't like, know. It's still stupid, and it's still a terrible line to advertise, especially for a high-end department store. With a certain image that this does not fit at all. I, all right. Can, yeah, I just let's let's just for the moment, let's set the heavy rape part just aside. Let's start at the, the foundation here. Don't give people drugs without them knowing about it. Yeah, it's like, would you like some alcohol? No. Not they should have some alcohol. You know, you know what would make this party really fun if everybody was on acid and nobody knew it. Said nobody ever. Well, someone said it, but they're an asshole. Yeah. And probably eventually a felon. Because someone who ever it's it's that one person who takes the shit too far and then they end up in jail and they don't understand why nobody thought it was funny. Yeah. Don't don't do that to people on Bloomingdale's. I have no idea what you were thinking, but it was it was bad thought, and you should feel bad. Oh, well, we we have another returning. Okay, we've got another in the returning category tonight. Well, Tara, Tara, how many times have we had to cover the Secret Service in the past few years? Too many. I can think of at least four different stories right off the top yeah, of my head. Yeah, there was like the Colombian hooker thing. And I don't know if we ever covered it, but Joe Biden's motorcade just kept getting in fucking car accidents for like the first two years of that administration. And the toddlers just wandering loose of yeah, the security. Yeah, the toddlers wandering into the White House. People just wandering up to the security. It's kind of a wonder Barack Obama has survived. Or, well, the Secret Service didn't just cover the president. They cover all, uh, you know, they, they cover, I believe, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, they cover uh, Congress as well. I don't 
I don't think so. Not unless it's someone really high profile. Yeah. Like they don't cover presidential candidates unless there's a reason to, unless they become someone of such high profile or start getting threats. Well, you know, oh, fuck me. We, we've gone way past the shenanigans to the holy crap. Are you screening these people? On-duty Secret Service officer thinks he's sexting a teen, but it's the cops. And no, it's it's not an 18-year-old, guys. No, no. Um. Oh, wait, you guys see the scratching. Scratch, scratch. Oh! Now shake. <laughs> shake so hard you fall on your butt. That's what we do. Oh, a uniform secret no, service. Fuck off. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. I think she, I don't think she wants to be around for this either. A uniform secret service officer has been charged with sexting who he thought was a 14 year old girl. And some of the online communications originated from the White House. Where he often checked identification at the entrance. Authorities say that Lee Robert Moore, 37, did not know that the teenager he was allegedly sexting with was actually two undercover Delaware police officers. And Chris Hansen. <laughs> why, why don't you take a seat? Why don't you take a seat over here? Why don't you take a seat? Corey, like, that'd be the weirdest, like... <laughs> like, NBC likes to do, like, Law & Order crossovers and shit. I don't think they've ever done a Dateline and to catch a Predator cross crossover. But they're like, well, tonight we're interviewing the president. And, and why don't you take a seat? Oh, according to court documents, Moore befriended the officers online using the application application Meet24, and they later switched to the Kick application, which, goddamn, Kick is the most horrible thing. What the fuck is Kick? It's it's like this anonymous, you post a weird thing, and then people can respond to it. Nobody has a screen name. And it, can I tell you, when, when someone first mentioned Kick, I thought it was a drug because I'm old. No, it's like, oh, is that the drug the kids are doing these days? So, yeah, kick. Uh, the court record provides a long list of salacious chats between Moore, who was married, and the two undercover police officers. Um, it's uh, in Moore's case, one alleged kick message in September showed the officer became suspicious about getting set up. He didn't follow his instincts, though. Quote, do you know how many fake female profiles are out there? A guy needs some reassurance that he's talking to who he thinks he's talking to and not, I shudder to think, the message said. Here's the thing. Your secret service. Yeah. You gotta have some idea more than the average civilian. You would hope. About how much privacy we don't have using our cell phones. In um. fact, this morning, the... Ray Kelly, who used to be the NYPD commissioner, was on NPR talking about how it's really hard to track terrorists now that there's so much encryption software available Bullshit. for cell phones. And, Bullshit. you know, if, if, if you want to be a good citizen of New York City, you should delete all your encryption apps and just let us, like, read your text. Yeah, okay, no. But if you're in the Secret Service, you would think... <laughs> You'd be aware of just how easy that data is to get. Yeah, even even had this not been an undercover sting, yeah. you still have left a paper trail yes. of very awful things. And the 14 year a 14 year a 14 year old. A 14. You're in the Secret Service. Yeah. You're married. And you're trying to nail a 14-year-old you met online. I mean, no matter what your job is, don't try to nail a 14-year-old. Unless you're also 14. Don't do that. Don't. But, my God. You're in the... You're... These are the people who... You know what? I would... These are the people who are supposed to take a bullet for the president. I wouldn't trust them to change a light bulb for the president. They're not that bright. Well, and here's the part where I bring it to the bad place. The president has two teenage daughters. Yeah! Oh, well, aren't they like college age now? 
they weren't all along. No, no, it's just true. Oh, gee, well, the, yeah. the older one is Malia. Is yeah, college is. Sasha is still in high school. Like, oh, okay, that's the, yeah. This is a problem. Often, whoever hired this guy is so fired. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Okay, be like, just the president be like, okay, who in this room? I just think they vet who, these who, people who? better. I, I, I would just like to, who like in this that, room maybe hired it up Is it just trying to like rile up the audience or be funny? That's not fucking funny. The no. president has two teenage daughters and a fucking pedophile on the Secret Service. Yes. That's a problem. Yes. There's, there's. Nothing funny about that. What the fuck is going on with the Secret Service? I... I don't know. Oh, so... Moving along... We used to roleplay. We mentioned this a lot. Um, there's a different... Not, not like that. Not like that. That's not a great segue. Not a good... Okay, okay, well... Leave the segues to me. <laughs> we used to LARP. And, um... There are some things involved in LARPing. One of them is rules. You don't just go and do whatever the fuck you want. They're, no, you can't go in and be like, I am King Kong. Boom, boom, boom. No, you can't do that. Unless you're sleeping with a regional storyteller. Oh! Never mind. Um, Dan and I were watching the Avengers last week, and we totally divided all the Avengers up into their vampire, vampire clans. Because we're huge nerds. Well, so the Civil War reenactors, it's another kind of, of role play. And there are rules for it and things you have to kind of do. You can't just jump right in and do whatever you want. And this guy what found that. What's on you rolling into the Gettysburg reenactment in a DeLorean and a puffer vest? They also frown on it when you're drunk and you open fire with a real gun. <gasps> Magatosh County Sheriff's Department said a man was arrested Friday after live rounds were fired at actors participating in a Civil War reenactment. Deputies arrived at the scene and quickly located suspect Gary Allen Lane. Officials said Lane was drunk and holding a loaded, sawed-off shotgun. Okay, that's not even era appropriate. <laughs> Like, that's not even canon. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. Uh, Lane ran from deputies, threw the gun on the ground. More firearms were found in his home nearby. During the investigation, deputies found nine rounds fired into a tent with several actors inside. While an actor was struck near the pallet, he did not sustain an injury. Uh, Lane is being held without bond for reckless conduct with a firearm, assault and battery with a deadly weapon, possession of a firearm, under the influence of alcohol, malicious, malicious injury to pop property, and resisting arrest. <laughs> How do you get drunk and decide to do, like... I mean, the South War has to get, motherfucker! You're not going to change the outcome of the war, you know. It's. Did you, it, did you ever watch Twin Peaks? Yes. Like all the way through? Yeah. You remember the season two subplot when like the local rich man goes insane and yeah. tries to change the result of the Civil War? Anybody else spoilers <laughs> at me. That show is on its 25th anniversary. Y'all can fuck off. M maybe he had some kind of nervous breakdown and thought he could. <laughs> fix it all. Maybe he was drunk enough that he thought he actually he time back traveled and was like, you know what? I have advanced modern <laughs> We're going to see me coming. <laughs> I mean, thank God he didn't actually hurt anybody badly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you. Mother... <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. 
How do you get to this point? How, how does how is this your your weekend afternoon? You know what I'm gonna do this weekend? Mm. I'm gonna get drunk and go fuck up some Civil War and actors. <laughs> It doesn't, it's, you know, it, the, the war is over. You don't get another go at it. I'm sorry. There's no do-over. There's, there's, there's no, 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 you, you, there's no time stop. The ST's not going to rewind stuff. It's over. Yeah, you don't get to file an appeal. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's move on to another thing that was also part of our LARPing experience. Denny's. Ugh. <laughs> Remember after every single game, it'd be like, where are we going to go? Let's go eat someplace. Where are we going to go? Denny's. Why? It was the Fortunately, Connecticut, where I primarily gamed, had a lot of all night diners. So we didn't have to resort to Denny's. Yeah, but in the other places, it was the only fucking thing open. So we all went to Denny's after game. Bunch of vampire LARPers. Well, Denny's has been offering a, a $4, e $4 all you can eat pancake special. But the, the, the key... I like pancakes, but that seems like a bad idea. The key word there is $4 all you can eat. Not $4 all anybody at the table can eat. Natasha West, 27, from Chicago, is facing assault and property damage charge after she became unhinged when a Denny's waitress explained she was not allowed to share her $4 all-you-can-eat pancake specials with her friends. West was dining Friday at a Denny's in Oak Lawn when a server explained that the unlimited pancake offer was good for a single diner. This did not sit well with West, who was apparently under the impression that her $4 bought everybody at the table an unending pancake bounty. According to the Oak they would go bankrupt. According to the Oakland Police Department, West cursed at the waitress and threw several punches at punches at the employee. Although the blows did not land, West and her party then left Denny's without paying their tab, but not before she repeatedly kicked the door on the way out. Actually, I was at a LARP in Boston many, many moons ago where there was at the IHOP we went to for afters, there broke out a giant fucking brawl. It wasn't our group. It was a bunch of like drunk dude bros that got in a fucking brawl in the middle of the IHOP and wrecked the whole middle of the room. Like we had, <laughs> our table had like broken plates and spilled shit because the fight like landed on our table. It was, it was good times. <laughs> Shit, if that happened in the Denny's, I'd consider that dining entertainment. I mean, it was a night hop. It was, yeah, but still, you know, it'd be like, well, it's dinner and a show. No, but lady, for fuck's sake, it's pancakes. You're going to jail for pancakes. You're Not go even good pancakes. Not even good pancakes. You're going to jail for Denny's pancakes. I mean, they're probably just made out of, like, Crisco and lard. It's, it's, they are they are rubber. They're rubbery and like IHOP pancakes are good. That's the only thing there that's any good. But IHOP pancakes are good. Denny's, there's no food in Denny's food. Yeah, you're you're kind of going to jail for a, a a maple covered frisbee. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. What? Which I guess at least you're used to the quality of food you'll be getting. In okay. Frisbee. Mathton's in the channel. Batter up. Oh, D dude. Oh, dude! That took me a minute. It took a minute. Oh, uh, that's awful. It took me a minute because I don't cook. You're going to jail for pancakes. What are you in for? Stole a car. What are you in for? Crack. What are you in for? Pancakes. <laughs> Come again? What? Is that is that code? <laughs> I've been in here a while. I don't know the new slang. No, seriously, I started some shit over pancakes. <laughs> okay. Oh, God damn it. Not again. Wow. This is kind of an amazing story. And you should be worried when I call something amazing. Monkeys? No. Oh. This is sort of like a mix-up. 
of uh, our mashup of, of, of many of we got some categories involved here and I you know what I really loved my grandma my grandma was a wonderful both my grandmothers were wonderful ladies I really love my grandmothers and I know my grandma you, you hate where this is going Tara I I'm just trying to figure out where this is going you're, you're taking us on a journey here my grandmothers would have done a lot of things for me but I think here is pretty much where they no I not this is not where they would have drawn the line. I think they would have drawn the line a few miles back. Actually, oh my. Grandma smuggles drugs for jailed son in Kinder Egg stashed inside her. <clears throat> Spanish pensioner has been sentenced to prison for smuggling drugs for her son. In a very unusual way, the 73-year-old woman took motherly love a bit too far when she hid drugs in a kinder surprise stashed in her Kinder's vagina. Surprise. Are you? You're familiar with Kinder eggs, right? Yeah, I am. So I have this whole set of. Can I get to them? Hang on. Kinder eggs, I guess, come with a lot of variations of little hippo toys inside them. Mm -hmm. And at some point they did the entire cast of the original Star Wars series and the little hippo toys. And they went up on eBay. So somebody bought me the whole set. So they happen to now live on the ledge between this room and the kitchen. So I was able to grab Darth Hippo pretty easily. <laughs> But they're basically little Easter eggs with, like, chocolate and a toy inside them. And they had to stop selling them in America because they were worried kids in America were so stupid, they would just slump, shove the whole chocolate egg in their mouth and eat the toy and choke. This is not the concern here! No, they didn't anticipate this use for them. This is not... That's it. Uh, in 2013. How How is she going to give it to him? Like, you're supervised in the visiting room. Yeah. Was she going to lay that egg and leave it behind? Elderly woman concealed 20, pound, uh, 20 euros, small doses of cocaine and heroin, as well as tranquilizers inside the plastic, plastic casing of a Kinder Egg. She smuggled the stash into prison by wrapping a kinder egg in a condom and inserting it into her vagina. Okay, because that was my next question was, what if it comes up apart? But she thought of that, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> it's not good! None hey, of this is good! she didn't have two pieces of sharp plastic and a bunch of drugs in her vagina, that'd be way worse. At least she planned ahead. We take what we can get on this show, man. <laughs> I take what little tiny Pyrrhic victories I can drag <laughs> screaming out of humanity. You're just trying to claw it back. Yeah. You're just trying to claw that shit back. <laughs> Always look on the bright side. Motherfucker. Oh, you know, my mom was, I love my mom. My mom was a great lady. She would not do this for me. I mean, my mom was a substance abuse counselor, so I know she wouldn't do she this. She would not do this for you. My mom worked with heroin addicts. I, she would not be bringing me heroin for any reason ever. Aero Zeppelin. That's not what they mean when they say old hen. No. At least this was a thing that goes in somebody's vagina, technically. I mean, not this thing, but at least eggs. Like, at least it's shaped in a way that could work, not like a fucking handgun that chicks keep shoving up their vaginas. Like, at least it's shaped like something that could be in that type of orifice. If you keep reaching that hard, Terry, you're going to pull something. Yeah, probably. Oh, our last one tonight is, you know what? I'm getting a little nostalgic for some of oh, the God, That's right. Birds don't even have a vagina. They yeah, have a cloaca. Cloaca. Hmm. I, I'm, I, I'm a little, you remember when people, I, I hate to say, remember when, you remember when people would break into someone's house and cook breakfast and fall asleep and that's the worst they would do? 
No, but I remember that people did that. I don't remember that ever being the worst they would do. <laughs> well, on our, on, on, so, you know, they, they break but in. That is a weird trend that we seem to get. Well, we've now got, they, they've upped the ante on that one. T breaks into house, eats food, masturbates into fridge. Why? <laughs> There's no answer. There's no good answer for that. Any answer you get to that question, any answer is going to keep you awake at night. Nobody's leftovers are that good. <laughs> Laurel, Maryland, a Laurel teen is under arrest after breaking into a home multiple times. Lionheart, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> on October 5th, the Ann Arundel County Police Department began investigating a residential burglary. The victim installed interior camera systems in their home to capture any other burglaries. On November 7th, the police were alerted to another burglary that was captured in the camera system at the same time at the same home. Uh, police say the video showed the suspect entering the home, eating food that belonged to the phone home to belong to the homeowner, and then masturbating into the refrigerator. The suspect then fled the home after stealing money. Here's my question. One of my questions. <laughs> Isn't there a negative effect when penis meets cold? Like this just seems counterproductive. I mean, I, I don't have a penis. I've never had a penis, so I don't know for sure. I'm asking you <laughs> if you're more of an expert. <laughs> Seems like a counterplay, counterintuitive place to jerk it. <laughs> Am I wrong here? <laughs> Taking a fucking survey. <laughs> They're telling me friction would compensate. What? Wait, did did he? All right, did he close? It does not say this anywhere. The argument. What are you guys in the channel saying that he closed his dick in the fridge door? No, I think they're implying that the friction of his hand okay. would compensate for the cold of the fridge. I, <sighs> it just seems counterintuitive to me, is all I'm saying. And this is a teenager, they don't use his name because obviously he's under the he's under the age of 18. <clears throat> I did a lot of stupid shit as a teenager. <laughs> Nothing like this. Nothing. Never, never. Never masturbated into someone else's fridge. Never did this seem like a fun idea. There's just. I mean. I like Pepsi. But even if you showed me a fridge full of 12 packs of Pepsi. Probably not double clicking my mouse into that fridge like. <laughs> See, I, 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 I stayed out late. Probably not going to turn it into cream soda. Uh, Sorry, I had to. I stayed out late. I, I, yo, I, I had sex. I drank. I did all sorts of shit when I was a teenager. I never thought, you know what would make this the perfect night, fellas? You know what would make this a good one? I'm going to go into your kitchen... And I'm going to spank it onto a casserole. I mean, depending on the casserole, it might have improved it. <laughs> I just... <it's, laughs> okay. Uh, Apple Fisu in the channel. Soda, purple stuff. Sunny D! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, have you seen those insure co insure co um, commercials where the bottle of insure is like dancing with all the fruit? Maybe in that particular fridge, all that food does a particularly lascivious dance. Just of all the fuck's sake, that just your your dick just not go in the fridge. 
Ever. Ever. No, I can't think of a good reason for your dick to be in the fridge. Never. I, I, well, I guess, I guess that's the first thing we learned in life. Your dick does not go in the fridge. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Unless it's <clears throat> detachable and sometimes you just leave it there. A song. I, I think, think that was actually the bathroom cabinet. Was the yes, not place. the fridge. Even then, even the tadpole penis and even did not put a that, dick in the fridge. A bag, so it doesn't get cross contaminated. Safety first. It's my dick in a fridge. No, it doesn't. No. We've learned that loving your children has limits. Yeah. And that limit is smuggling drugs in your vagina. I mean, you delivered them through your vagina, so why not deliver things to them in your no, vagina, I no, no. <clears throat> We've learned that no pancake is worth going to jail for. Certainly not Danny's pancake. Nah, Danny, God, I God. Mean, yeah, don't don't go to day don't go to jail for Danny's fucking pancakes. My God. We've learned that you cannot change the outcome of the Civil War by by leading a one-man assault on a Civil War reenactment. No, no, you can't. You should not try. The fucking shotgun. Going to try, at least be canon appropriate. Yeah, you know, if get yourself, you know, a flintlock, a musket. What the fuck did they have back then? I Don't was... be the Marty McFly cosplayer at the Ren Fair, okay? <sighs> Don't be that guy. Just get a musket. We've learned that there are some big ass problems with Secret Service. Something we, something has gone seriously sideways over there. I mean, what? No, no. And finally, we've learned that even with potentially dozens of rational, full grown adults. can still approve of something that is ridiculously date rapey. Yeah. Cause I honestly was really surprised to see that get through. Bloomingdale's is a big company. Somebody getting fired. I would think more than one somebody. Yeah. Getting fired. It's pretty much walking through the ad department going, hey, did you like this? Fired, 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 fired. fired, fired, fired. fired. Cheers. All we did was insinuate a little date rape. God. <laughs>